Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. We have been on fire with G.I. Joe reviews lately. Uh, the last few have been much better than Firefly and Low Light, so I'm very happy. Grunt is the final figure from that wave, so let's just go ahead and get on in here because I gotta find out if Low Light and Firefly were just, just uh, unfortunate... Circumstances. Uh, anomalies. That's the word I'm looking for. Anomalies in this wave. Which it's always kind of hard to even call classified waves just because of the way they come out. All right, so back to after a couple of days of fun, we're back to these plastic tabs that I dislike so much. If I'm, if I'm putting these reviews up in the order in which I recorded them, uh, because I just reviewed Big Ben and Range Viper, had very good experience with both of those. Um, oh, you know what? Tunnel Rat. No, Tunnel Rat was mostly good. There, there were a couple little nitpicky things with him. Uh, he was mostly good. So Tunnel Rat is... Uh, there's our grayscale. Looks cool. Tunnel Rat was good. Low Light had the shoulder issue, but was otherwise great. And Firefly looks, design-wise, was great. But uh, had some terrible QC issues, production issues. Oh, wow. Okay, so already right off the bat... I'm liking Grunt a lot. Butterfly shoulders. He feels very solid. Um, I like the paint on his arm. Well, let's here. Let's just real quick. You almost can't even compare them because the original Grunt is so simple. But you can see there are the arm pouches. Uh, he does have, you know, the brown web gear is quite a bit different on this one, but there it is. The boot design is the same, uh, and the face is maybe just a way younger version of that portrait, if we're being nice about it. Uh, the new one does have the gloves, which are a fine addition. He's got, uh, there you go. I mean, that's this is a modern grunt. I like it. And, of course, now we know, leaves room for a retro style grunt. If you don't like these big thigh pouches, you can take them right off. I may or may not. Well, and what, what I'll probably end up doing is, depending on what the retro one looks like, that may be my main grunt. And then this one, I'll just put the alternate helmet on and he'll be a trooper. So, uh, the olive drab looks really good. I like the color of green that they chose. Uh, all the paint and everything looks good. His, ooh. Okay. That moved, but boy, that doesn't feel nice. Okay, got that bottom one moving. That's often a challenge. Now the bottom one. They're okay, okay. They're stiff, but they're nothing wrong. Uh, ankles feel good. Okay, so we're in good shape with the articulation. I need to pull his belt down to where it's supposed to be. Okay, there's our... That goes in the front. And there we go. Okay. And... Got his little data readout. Little display pad. Ooh, I'm a little nervous about the way that's connected, though. Look at that. Is that pegged in or what? Let's see. I haven't used this in a minute. So let's try and get a closer look at the way this is connected. It is. It is. It looks like there's a square peg. I don't know how well you guys can see it. But there's like a... It's pegged into the front. And I'm not going to make any attempts to pull it off of there. 
Uh, for troop building purposes, he does have his name there on his vest. So you're just going to have to pull this whole entire thing off if you want him to be a troop builder. Uh, E4 Graves. That seems weird to me that it actually says E4. Uh, but whatever the case, I like everything about him so far. But I can also see the retro version underneath all of this and will buy that one when it comes out. Notice the paint and the difference in the pouches. I like these. These are nice. They're just nice touches, nice additions that, again, you can take off if you don't like them. Okay, Stan Grunt over there and take a look at his accessories. This has been a marathon of reviews today, and I am absolutely ready for a break. But I'm also very relieved that so far, nothing I've reviewed today has had major issues. So I, I feel like I'm on a good streak right now. Uh, cool. Got a traditional, well, not, I'm not going to say it's a traditional helmet, but a, a, just a plain helmet. Let's get everything out of the way here. Come on. There we go. Uh, straps hanging down. Lots of detail on this thing. Looks good. I wouldn't mind if it was plainer, but I'm okay with it being this detailed. Backpack, very, very basic. I still don't love these pegs. Uh, I get that we want weapon storage, but just these big square pegs where you jam it through the trigger guard to store it, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. Sorry, I don't. Uh, I would be very careful putting it on. Don't put a bunch of pressure on this little piece. It may be super, super sturdy, but don't test it. Uh, the green, uh, the darker green of the backpack matches his pockets up here and the front green, so it works really well. Again, uh, well, and the helmet. So we've got a nice little variety of color on this guy. As opposed to just being all drab. Backpack goes in and stays in. M16. Nice to see. Uh, I, my first pellet gun or BB gun or whatever was an M16 and I still have it around here somewhere. Uh, so I, I've always, I mean, this is the good guy gun. Whoop. This is the good guy gun. Looks cool. It's all black. I don't need any paint on this one. Because in my mind, M16s are just all black. Now, I if it had some dark green paint, I'd be okay with that. But, uh... That's, it's just a classic blaster. Right? Oh yeah, let's oh it's it's definitely pretty bendy. Uh but once you get it in the hand, as with all classified, fits perfectly, looks good. Uh he's got an alternate steel brigade head, or excuse me, steel core head, cool gold visor, looks great. Uh I'm not gonna use it for this grunt. But it's cool that he comes with it. And then we've got the LXR or the RXL or the XLR or whatever it's called. I will never, ever remember it for my entire life. Looks cool, but I will say, having seen the retro reveals, I would rather these all be the same color. And they're like color coordinating them to the figures they come with. And I don't like that. I'd rather them all be like gray and black. I think would be good. Like if they were all black with a gray stock or, or something like that. I wish they were consistent. This is flexy, but it's pretty solid. So I'm good with that. Uh, 
it's odd to me that the same laser blaster would be the, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't love that. Uh, it does have a port on the front, although that's not a laser. We need some laser blast effects now. Uh, the M16 also has the port on the front. Got a little knife with a little bit of paint on the blade. Looks good. Looks great, actually. It's like a very, very simple knife, but it's perfectly executed. I really like that. That's going to go right in there. And it's it sticks up some, but it's not as obtrusive as the, uh, what was it, the Cobra Island troopers? That, what it's like next to their face almost. So that one looks pretty good. Uh, and then finally, just a standard, whatever, hand blaster that is. Uh, and it also has a port in the front. I like how consistent... Uh, the stuff I've review, uh, excuse me, stuff I've reviewed today has been in regards to that kind of thing, uh, and so he carries his sidearm at his waist, which I also like to see because there's so many thigh holsters in this line. I like seeing that variety. I think that's great. Let's get his belt back into place. You touch these figures and their belts end up around their necks. It kind of drives me crazy, but I get why it's the way it is. Uh, there we go. That's Grunt. He's awesome. I'm very happy with this figure. Uh, I think they succeeded in exactly what classified should be. Uh, it is clearly recognizable as the original figure, but also has lots of cool updates, lots of extra stuff going on. Uh, oh, wait. Let's much as I hate it. Let's go ahead and just stick it on there just so everything's in one place. Uh, there you go. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for commenting, filling me in on anything that I may not know. And until next time, yo, Joe! Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.